Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Let's see, it's about a quarter to 12, December 27th, Friday. That one says 27 degrees. That one says my batteries are full charged. That one says 31 degrees, which means this guy should say somewhere around zero. There we are. Look at that. We got a zero. So, zero centigrade. So, what am I up to today? Um, boredom is beginning to set in. So, my, uh, my son was nice enough to help me out by making me this list. To-do list. Take nasty dump. And he crossed that off already. Fart. Watch TV. Make fun of Rich. I got a friend visiting today, so he likes when I make fun of him. I got my cat in here to help me out. Um, make borderline in inappropriate uh, comment to nurse. Uh, the nurse who um, tore off my bandage is coming back today. Hopefully she doesn't hurt me again. Um, overeat and take drugs. So there's my son's advice for... Uh, what I should do with myself the rest of the day. I got my uh, a happy assistant here to uh, to give me some more orders, and here we are. So what am I up to? Um, with all this boredom, I've decided to spend a little time studying um, various capacitive jar CDI units for these uh, for these three wheelers and so forth. And you remember this guy, the last I stopped with it, the spark decided to take a powder. Now, as I look at these units and you're trying to troubleshoot the spark, or is it a, you know, do you have spark, but it still won't start, but you don't know if the spark's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, it'd be nice to be able to eliminate the ignition system. So I spent some time on eBay and, um, managed to find for the Honda GY6 engine they have one of these CDI units that runs on 12 volts and here let me go through a quick description but by, by what I mean about that this is your most basic CDI unit there is no electronic advance for the uh, ignition on this thing um, the advance it, this would actually go into this bike and this thing gets the advance from underneath here there's some weights that move the advance forward so that as the engine goes faster the centrifugal weights swing out which gives you your advance so this is the most simple unit it gets its power from underneath the flywheel underneath here there are a set of coils, and as a matter of fact, they look just like this. And uh, to be exact, this is the coil that provides power for the ignition. So the flywheel, that thing goes round and round, induces a current on that. That current provides an AC, <coughs> excuse me, power source for this thing and um, charges the capacitor and then up here there's a Hall effect which as it goes round it tells the Hall effect to fire and that's where you get your spark from and once again up on top there there's also a set of weights which give you your advance so that's the simplest version the next more complicated version of CDI um, is for a motor and this is for the China quad um, and I also think um, some of these horizontal motors are like that also this might be a points motor but some of the more horizontal motors they do not have um, any kind of advance built into the engine they don't have any weights or, or anything to move the timing forward as the RPMs increase. Remember, as your engine speed increases, you need to get the spark um, 
more more advanced or the spark's a bit retarded and you don't quite get your horsepower right it's actually firing late as your rpms increase so this thing has the advance built in it still gets its power from um, a coil such as this or this right but um, the electronics provide the timing advance well there's one that you do not see here because I don't own it yet it's actually bigger than both of these it's a, it's a bit bigger and that one you apply 12 volts to to get to, to power the um, CDI unit you do not need a coil now why do I find that interesting I find it interesting because let's say something like this happens to your coil well this is a hundred to a hundred